Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you how to install Exposed Framework module on Android. It's different for different kind of Android phones, such as if you are having Android 6.0, there's a different file to Flash, and if you are having Android 5.0, there's a different file. Here's the Exposed Framework module folder, and let us begin. First of all, you have to install the application. It's same for all the Android phones. Let it be installed. Open it. Now click on framework. Here you can see that you can't install the framework from this app because if you are having Android 4.4 or lower than that, then you can directly install the Expose. But here you can't install. It's saying that you have to download the latest zip from XD and flash it through manual recovery. Now let me explain about the zips for different Android phones. First of all, if you are having Android 5.0, then you have to install the SDK 21. And if you are having the Android 5.1, then you have to install the SDK 22 and if you are having the Android 6.0 then you have to install SDK 23 now let me explain furthermore for your information let me show you I am using Asus Zenfone 2 laser and it's a custom ROM and right now I am having Android 6.0.1 so I have to install that SDK 23 now open now let me show you some more and if you are having a 32 bit device then you have to install the ARM and if you are having Android 60 and if you are having 64 bit device you you have to install the ARM 64 and if your Android is running on Intel chipset then you have to install this Android 80 into X 86 now I am having Asus Zenfone laser 2 which is a 64 bit device so I have to flash this this file have to be flashed from any custom kernel uh, or you like TWRP or clockwork mode and in my phone TWRP is installed so I will flash this file from TWRP now let's the flashing begin one more thing guys if you don't know about your cpu structure i mean which how much bit your cpu is then you can download a app which is aida64 on this app you can easily get the information about your cpu whole information let us show you um let it be installed Command. it's installing it's a nice app it's give you the whole information about your phone each and everything let let us open it Now go to the CPU section. Here, here you can see that instruction set. My phone is 64 bit. You will get your phone's information about is it 32 bit or 64 bit. And then choose the choose which file you have to flash through TWRP or your custom recovery mode, any custom recovery mode. I was having 64 bit so I would install this this and if you're having 32 bit you install this if you're having 86 you can oh I mean if you're having Intel device you can flash this file if you are on Android 6.0 if you are on 5.1 you have to install SDK 22 if you're on 5.21 as I have told you now let us flash the file okay here we are in the recovery mode guys now we have to just flash that file which I have shown 
before in this video now go to install uh, go to that expose folder where yeah man it is in. here it is now I have told this two times I am having Android 6.0 so I have to install this and I am having a 64 bit device so open this file now click on this now swipe to confirm the flash now let it be ex flashed here you can see it is flashing mounting system and exposed version 86 which we have remember it guys if you if you do the wrong flashing if you done the SDK ARM which is for 32, 32 bit and you if, if you had flashed that on 64 bit your phone will get break so just remember what I have told you now just reboot the system here guys you can see now my phone is rebooted and the exposed has been installed the framework now you can see that here exposed framework version 86 is active now so you can do whatever you want to do you can download the modules there are lots of things to do and enjoy uh, let me tell you some notes first of all you need root it, almost all the apps all the modules need root permission so you have to root your phone and the second is exposed module is experimental so do this at your own risk we are just showing you how to but you will face boot loops especially those who are using special who are, who are using samsung phones because lots of samsung phones have now facing the boot loop and it's also for some sony mobiles sony mobile phones now that's it thank you thanks for watching our video till the end like comment subscribe if you have any doubt comment and please guys subscribe our channel so we can make more